Welcome to the video. So now we're going to move on to the next question, which is question three in computer science A2 level, uh, in paper 41, May, June 2021. All right, so I'm going to fire up uh, Visual Studio again. And deal on the same uh, project as uh, the previous two questions. All right, this one. Then now we're going to open up a new module. So, yeah, wait for this to load up. Okay, so the new module should be module 4. Yep. So click on add. I'm going to open up the PDF the paper. Okay, partial 3. So the project says a computer game requires users to travel around a world to find op and open treasure chests. Each treasure chest has a mathematics question inside. The user enters the answer. The number of points of water depends on the number of attempts before the user gives the correct answer. And the program will be created using object-oriented programming, or OOP. The following class diagram describes the class treasure chest. Okay, and now we need to create a new program, and we need to write program code to declare the class treasure chest, and do not write any other methods. The attributes are private, right? So, uh, we need to create program code. Uh, we need to write program code to declare class treasure chest. So, with a dual class. Oops. So here, class, uh, class, A S U R E C H E S T. Okay, so then, uh, then here we need to declare um, question, answer, and points as the as private, which these are the attributes. So here instead of them, we use private. So private question as string. And then private answer points as integer. And then we need to create a new procedure. In this case, public sub new. And then here, this uh, procedure will then take the um, values from the main program or some other program into the class and then declaring it using the private attributes on top. Yeah, the reason why we're not already using the attributes on top is to prevent any modification or any issues with uh, the attributes on top. So we just use a new procedure to add them uh, into this class here. So I'm just going to rename this, like, for example, QMESBNSNPOIN, right? And then here what we do is question equals to QES, and then answer equals to AS, and then points equals to POIN. Okay, so, yep, um, so with that, we are done with the first part, which is list. So now let's just copy and paste this into our uh, question 3A. Yep. One, eight, two, eight, four. Okay, now we'll okay. just move on to the question with uh, B. B. Okay, question B, the Question B, the text file treasure chest data.txt stores data for five questions in the order of questions answer points. For example, the first three lines of the file are for the first question. Two times two question four answer ten points. Write program code for the procedure read data to read each question answer and points with a text file. Rule an object of type treasure chest for each question and declare an array name array treasure of type treasure chest. Append each object to the array and use exception handling to output an appropriate message if the file is not found. Okay, so now what we do, uh, what we do here, it is the Okay, so what we do here, So you see here, we need the text file treasurechest.txt. So I already have it here in Windows, uh, in my Windows installation, uh, inside my network shared under the colon treasure chest data. So what we do here it is with the class, uh, we then need to write a new procedure. We need to write a new procedure. So um, 
this one should be uh, so it should be under 3B so this one should be okay sub read data so under here let's just type in sub read data and then um, make each question answer in points for the text file so now it says that we need to use exception handling so we need to use try catch and then uh and try so this one will just take um uh so we're just gonna do um submit data and then we need to first um declare the array so what we do here is we just take dim then array treasure then you need to remember, like what I mentioned in the first two questions, the index starts with zero, and this is stores data for five questions, so it's zero to four, or four. So data array treasure as treasure chest. Okay. And then, uh, now we're gonna open up our, you know, we're gonna do the exception handling. So try, uh, file open, one, comma, and then I'm gonna find my file location, which is under Z colon, backslash treasure chest data dot txt and then we need uh open it burn word dot input okay and then append each um, each object to the array uh so what we do here is um, so what we do here is uh, we need to we take all these things on top here question answer points or QESAS PYN so now we need to declare them so dim QES as string dim in S P O I N as integer oops okay well not EOF bracket one, enter. In here, uh, what we'll do is we'll take line input. So for each each um, line, so Q and S equals to line input one. Sorry, not lines, but line. And then do the same for the next uh, two variables here, E and S and Q I N. I input one, and P O I N equals line input one. Okay, and then here we'll take our um, we then take number then we need to take um, we need to add all these data into the array. So here our array here is array treasure. Okay, array treasure. Then this one should be zero, but then we need to remember we need to make this thing. So I'm just gonna use i for the out. And then here I was gonna declare another variable which is demon i as integer equals to zero. Okay. So here uh maybe the array treasure will equal to one euro uh treasure chest. Namely treasure chest. With the tune of the part, you can get the new treasure chest. So, this one will just take in the question, answer at our point, and then uh, i will be plus equals to one. Okay, and then here, um we change the vowel loop so that it combinates for the for i and two five as well. So while not EOF one or i less than equal to four, okay, then we'll be able to do this. Then catch x as an exception. So if there's an exception, then we just put console dot right line uh, error opening or file. All right. And then, um, but be, but before we actually catch the exception, we need to close the file. So file, show rules, why? Okay, and then, 
and uh, far close catch X and then N try and then N sub. All right. Then now we copy and paste this into our partial 3B. Okay. I'll scroll down. C. The main program repeats each question until the user inputs the correct answer. The number of points of water depends on the number of times before the user gives the correct answer. The class treasure chest has a um has a sorry uh, has a method get question that returns the question. Write the method get question. So you have to write the method which is function get question. So then what we do here is return question. Okay. And then it's permanent. We just copy and paste this into our tree scene one. Okay. And then two, the class treasure chest has a method check answer that takes the user's answer as a parameter and returns true of the answer is. Uh, correct or false otherwise. Okay, so function check answer then we take A and S and then uh, if A and S equals to answer then return true else return false. Okay, so that's for three C tool. So let's go copy this into our gram. Okay, 3C3, no class treasure chest has a method get points. That takes the number of attempts as a parameter. The number of attempts is 1, it returns the valid points. If the number of attempts is 2, it returns the integer value of points divided by 2. If the number of attempts 3 or 4, return the integer value of points divided by 4. If the number of attempts is not 1, not 2, not 3, not 4, it returns 0. So, okay, so for example, if is below 100 points and the user took 2 attempts to give the correct answer, the user is awarded 50 points. Write the method get points. All right, so for this one, so what we do is create a new function, function get points. They need to do that. Takes a number of attempts as parameters, so let's put um, num of a p t e f p t s. All right, number attempts. So uh, if a if num of attempts. If num of attempts equals to one, then return the value of points. Else is num of attempts equals to two, then return points. Um, divided by 2 points divided by 2 okay um, else if number of attempts equals to 3 or number of attempts equals to 4 then Return four is divided by four. Else, return is zero. Okay, so that's it, right? So then we just copy this. And then we paste it into our next uh, part. This one, all right? Four. Write program code for the main program to call the procedure, read data, ask the user to enter the question number between 1 and 5, output the question that matches the question number entered by the user, um, check if the answer input by user is correct by using a method check answer, repeat the question until the user inputs the correct answer, how many times the user attempted the question, use the method get points, return the number of points awarded, output the number of points the user is awarded, so we'll do one by one. Okay, so let's go to the main program. So sub main bracket. And uh, call the procedure read data, call read data bracket A the okay. 
So I realized I made a mistake here. I need to move the position outside of the class. So, like that. Okay, move it outside of the class. And then call me data. And then ask the user to enter question between 1 to 5. If you want to five, probably. So, what we do here is do it. Okay, also not right line. Input. Uh, a value between one to five. Then here into loop, and then okay inside um, the do loop here we can do all the to declare then uh, value as integer equals to console dot read line so will until value is more than or equal to one and value is less than or equal to five. Okay. But here the problem is you realize that there is an error. It says the value is not declared because it is within the do loop. So what I'll do here is I'll just uh, take the declaration of value outside of the do loop, like so. And then here I'm just going to change it to value equals to console dot relight. <coughs> okay. And then we'll be able to get the value. And then we'll then declare result answer. So dim. Um, you can see here it says it would require output impression that matches a linear part. So we need to name the result, name the result as boolean name on the silver at a skin feature and then name the number of times num of times as integer goes to zero. So then uh, here for the boolean we can already immediately just declare it as false first. And then here we do is we just do um, attempts here it is set to zero. All right. So um, while result equals to false, okay, or result equal to false, then what we do here is we just do a console. We need to output the question that matches the question number. So for so dot right line, array treasure value. Minus one because, uh, like I mentioned just now, the index starts from zero, so we need to take the value minus one in order to get. Right? Let's say if it's five, then we get four. Value minus one dot. Then we need to get our question, so we have to go back to see which one would be the function which, that would be get question. So the dot uh, get question, not get question. I'm going to bracket. Okay, and then we'll be able to. This bit. Actually, array treasure is not declared. Um, all right, so Okay, so because now we can't read the file, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move the dim array treasure for as treasure chest out outside of the question like so. Make it a global array, and then here what we do it is it will still work, and then here then comp solved. So now it's array treasure, and then console, and then here we will do um, 
result get our result result equals to array treasure bracket value minus one so then we check the answer that we have just now that we have written and then here we'll put in answer So we, um, before that, we need to console the right line and then we need to read the line. So answer equals to put flow or read line. Okay. And then check answer, we then put answer. Okay. And then temps would be plus equals to one. So now we have one attempt. Let's say if it's, uh, you know, if it went through everything, then we one attempt. And wow. And then if let's say the while loop ended because the result is really uh, true, then we'll then console dot right line array treasure space minus one sorry uh value minus one and then dot get points times right and then we do then our number of terms. Okay, now we add, now we end the uh, main question. Uh, so just copy and paste this into our program. All right. Now we need to test the program. So now we need to select question one if it answers correctly the first time. Select question five and answer correctly at the second time. This is the main program. So finally, we need to put console not rely. Before we proceed, change this to module 4 in the preferences to module 4 like this. Go back to module 4 and start again. Okay, put a value between 1 to 5, so I'm going to select question 1. And then we get um, 2 times 2, and put 4, and you get 10. Okay, so this going to go print screen. All right, so then we paste it into our document. This is the first screenshot. The do crop. Okay, we can enlarge it like so. Now let's try um, something different. So this one we'll try. Um, we'll select question five. Okay, now let's select question 5. Then give us 3000 plus 4000. So now let's just enter the inquiry value, let's say like uh, 80. It's still 3000 times uh, plus 4000, so let's try 7009. Okay, so now this is print screen and put into our uh, evidence.doc because it's already, that means it's exactly what they want. So, okay, this. uh Pop it down so that it's uh, readable. Large it. Okay, so we're done with uh, these two questions. Sorry, not actually two questions, but two attempts that are needed. Right, so uh, we are completed um, with question three. All right, I hope you guys understand what I'm doing just now. Um, so, uh, okay. So, uh, please share this video out to other people who may need help with uh, combo science A2 level paper 4. I hope to see you guys again in the next video, which probably would be about another computer science paper 4 question. Till then, this is Shifi Niu. Goodbye.